Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can change the backup batteries on your OpenReach ONT, Optical Network Terminal. Now, if you have a look here, I've mimicked a fault at the moment because you can see a red light here, but you'll have a red light if your batteries have failed. I'm just going to tell you what the indicators mean here. So green line under status means that the battery backup is working correctly. If it's off, it means please connect the battery backup to the power socket. The fourth one here, if it's red, it means please replace the batteries. If it's off, the battery backup is working correctly. And if you have a yellow light here, it means it's charging. And if it's off, the battery backup is working correctly. So you can see here at the moment, we have a fault here. So you'd want the battery backup because then if you had a power cut, at least you would still have phone service. When you use it with a plug-in phone, into this point here. Remember, your decked phones are not going to work your cordless phones because the, you have a power cut. So now, in order to do this now, we're going to be doing it live when it's plugged in. We're going to get a Phillips screwdriver and we're going to just undo the screw here. And we're going to open this up like so. This here is your battery backup. Now, in order to release it from the casing, we need to just push it up. There we go, about one centimeter and then lift it out. Now, to open this up here, you can just slide it out. This one's particularly stiff, so I'm just gonna use a little metal tool to slide it out. And you can see I've mimicked a fault by removing one of the batteries. These batteries are not actually faulty. Use this thing here to pull out the batteries. And if you have a look here on the back of the cover, it says this device requires rechargeable NIMH, that's nickel metal hydride batteries with a minimum capacity of 2000 milliamp hours to work correctly during a power failure. Okay, so the ones we're putting in are going to be these ones here. And if you have a look, it says here 2000 milliamp hours. Obviously, you can go higher than that. So the size of these batteries are AA and make sure that they are rechargeable. Put this across here. And then you can see it's clearly labeled up here with a positive and a negative. So we're going to put the positive up this side. This one is negative and positive. So it's the other way around. Negative, positive. Just follow the symbols down here. And negative, positive there. Fold this over. This is what makes it nice and easy to take them out in the future. And now we're just going to place that there and clip it back into place. Now to put it in, we just place it down like that and we need to push it down about a centimetre to lock it into place because these things here line up with these. There we go. And now, if we plug it back in, you will see that the status light is green, yellow is for charging, but the fault light is no longer there because we have four correctly working batteries in there. Now you might wonder why we need 2000 milliamp hours is because this is actually outputting even when we're not plugged into here, this is outputting 12 volts, even though each of the batteries is only 1.2 volts. If you have a look here, on the multimeter, you will see it's outputting 12 volts. So that's the reason you need higher than usual milliamp hours. Right, plug it back in. And that's it, you can see it's now charging with the yellow light. So hopefully now, next time there's a power cut because you've replaced the batteries here, that at least you will have phone service for a short amount of time until the power is put back on. That's it, thanks for watching.